What is going on, YouTube? Cloud Envy here, and I want to welcome you personally to season two of the PMC. And I hope you are just as excited as I am for this because it is going to be just great. Just great. Um, we're here with week one against Dr. V, a um, <clears throat> someone I like to call a rival in the PMC, honestly. And we've duped it out. A good, oh lord, over a couple leagues, like four or five times maybe, I, I think. I could be wrong. But we are here with Dr. V for week one, coach of the Colorado Rapidash. And he brought some scary shit to this match. He's got Lando Eye, Reg Ice. That is a Mega Blastoise. A nice shiny Cofagrigus, Weavile, and Machamp. And that is versus Arkeldeo, Vileplume, Lando T. Gardevoir, Zapdos, and Fortress. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be a lot of plays in this game that don't make any sense. So, that being said, I want to uh, I want to go ahead and put that to rest now. I lost my DS. And the week we were supposed to battle, I lost my DS. So, <clears throat> we were, uh, were kind of pushed into Showdown. We figured I I was going to get one the next day, but it was a matter of just do it now. So Now, we we are the two people in this league that is, simply refuse to play Showdown if we have a choice. Like, oh, oh my god, Showdown is it's just terrible. <laughs> but we previously agreed, previously agreed after the schedule came out, that no matter what, we would not be playing on Showdown. And that, unfortunately, just put us both into a pretty poor position. Just just from the beginning of the match. So, we kind of just agreed that, you know, if this has to happen, it has to happen. Let's just get in, get it done as fast as possible, and get it over with. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> I'm going to try. I'm going to try as hard as I can. To explain these plays to you, and I'm not gonna say uh, I can't promise you I'll be able to, but we're gonna we're gonna make a really good attempt. So here we go. He's gonna lead up with Red Jice as we go for Avalanche. The lander is coming in. Intimidate is not gonna work on that clear body. Red Jice don't care, but I'm expecting a Frost Breath or at least an Ice Beam. So we're gonna U-turn out. You turn wow! You turn out into Fortress as he makes a pretty good play here and goes to the uh, Thunder Wave. Now this is showdown. That Focus Blast hit. I basically just lose, <laughs> but that Pair Hacks is going to be unfortunate because we were going for the Stealth Rock and two Focus Blasts in a row. That's that's a showdown record. But we're going to go into Namor, who's pretty much made to set up against this thing, barring a Frost Breath. But we're going to go for a substitute, predicting the switch. <clears throat> and I'm pretty okay with that, because it lets us get up in Calm Mind. And this... This Keldeo is really... It, it's your basic, standard, sub-mind Keldeo. Like, it's what it does. But I... <laughs> switch... Switch into Garden War, expecting the Psychic. Uh, <laughs> I go for the trick. To get... <laughs> To give him our choice scarf for some ungodly reason because I needed that. <laughs> I just wanted to get cough, I guess, crippled or something. But we go into Vile Plume as he goes back into Red Ice. We go back into Guard of Work, just trying to suck up a hit. And that Ice Beam crit does take us out, which is going to be unfortunate. This game is not liking us. But Namor's coming back up. We're going to go for that nice sub as he breaks it with the Thunderbolt. Which is a pretty, some pretty good tech to throw in there. But Secret Sword does all but 11%. Which, again, if I got my rocks up, it would have been fine. But luckily it does leave us with about 8% health. So that's that's good in its own. I'm just going to go back into Cough, Knowing that Cough can eat this Scald. You know, he just wants to preserve Reg Ice. <clears throat> And I don't want to lose Keldeo. We're going to go in the Storm, who's going to eat the knockoff and lose the Yachi Berry. Which is unfortunate because I had Yachi Berry for the predicted HP Ice from Lando I. 
And he is Scarf, so he's going to have to go for another knockoff as we U-turn out of there. <clears throat> and I go into Keldeo, knowing we can eat a Scarf knockoff from this cough and get the justified boost that I actually can't even use, but Keldeo does manage to take out Goff, so we we knocked out Elon. That's a plus right there. Realistically, I probably should have left Keldeo in and just sacked it off, but... Eh, he goes for the Fire Punch. I guess predict, yeah, predicting Vileplume and Force Resume. But this is an extremely defensive Lando. You go from EQ, take out the Red Ice, and that, again, is good for us. Because I don't like it. I don't like that thing. It, it makes me sad. Is he going to go into Decognis? It's going to hard switch out. I don't know why we hard switched. I, again, I can't explain most of the plays I make in this game. <laughs> but we actually had Infestation to deal with this Blastoise. But I predicted the switch. I really thought he was going to switch. So we go for the game. As he goes into D Tyrannus. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Darth Tyrannus. This guy, check him out. He's going all Sith Lord names. You know he's a badass. Sith, the Master Race, man. Right there, Master Race. But he goes to the Dynamic Punch. Avalanche, we eat it up, but I don't want to be confused. You feel? I just don't want that. So we're going to switch back out. As he, oh, Darth Bane. That's such a good name for Orlando I Like, that's, that's real stuff. I have no idea why I went for Thunderbolt. That didn't even make sense. Um, I guess... I thought he'd switch predicting HP ice. I don't I don't I don't I don't actually know. Um but he reveals he has HP ice, which takes out Lando. And that's super duper unfortunate. So we're gonna go into man thing the bio bloom. He's gonna eat that earth power very well. We are assault vested. Go for the Giga Drain, and that's gonna let us survive another one. So he goes for the knockoff, gets rid of the assault vest, but we get the effect spore, which is gonna make him paralyzed. Probably the best status ailment I could have wanted for a Lando Eye. So Vile Plume does take out Lando Eye. That's completely unheard of. And falls to Omega Blastoise, which is also kind of unheard of. Not as much, though. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just... I'm ranting. We do take out Mega Blastoise with Zapdos, though, and that's pretty cool. He goes into Weavile. And I, <laughs> I switched into Keldeo for some weird-ass reason. He's going to eat that Ice Shard and fall. Realistically, I just there was no point in switching. I just let them die in an opposite order. But Zapdos does not want to eat that ice shard, and we do go down to uh, to Doctor V. So he did come out of this game a 2-0. And I know we were kind of just pushing buttons, but he didn't play. He did play a very good game. He really did. He brought the mods he needed to. He hit the buttons he needed to, and I I didn't hit the buttons like like good like that. And that was our downfall. But I, I do want to point out how disappointed I am in this match. Not not the outcome. Again, Doc Osseo played a great game, and he deserved his win. I'm more disappointed in myself for my attitude toward this match, because there was no reason I, I should have treated the game like that, and it was just uncalled for. So that is not something that should be expected. That is not something that should be done. And it is not something that's going to be exhibited in future games. Whether we're on Showdown or not, it's still a league, and it still matters. And I just, I gotta keep my head in the game. I gotta not get myself on tilt before the match starts. So that, that was the fatal flaw here. Again, Colorado Rapid Ash, they put up a great fight. They played a great game. Definitely deserve this win. And with this squad, I definitely see him going far this season. But, guys, that is the match. Please do me a favor. Go check out Dr. B's channel. He's a great guy. Great guy. He's got a really good squad. Go show him some love. you find his description down below, as well as the other battlers in this league, as well as the league page. And don't forget, I can't stress this enough, check out the analysts. Let's be honest. They do most of the work anyway. Give him some love. Hit him up. Be like, hey, man, you doing good. But, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. So, have a great night. Stay tuned for next week. We are going to be having a match with Sharpino, coach of the Sydney Crocodiles. And that's a match I've been wanting to have since season one. So, I'm definitely looking forward to that. So, stay tuned. Come on back. Hit that like. Hit that sub.
But until then, stay frosty.